Kale chalk switches are currently the most popular available low profile switches for mechanical keyboards. Yet one aspect in which they are not successful is in sound profile. They tend to have a loud rattly sound which can make them sound irritating and annoying and can be especially frustrating when they are used in travel boards in public, which no doubt is one of the most popular use cases for the compact chalk switches. These issues have led to the creation of the tape mod, one of the most effective ways of improving the sound of chalk switches by making the keystroke quieter and slightly deeper. It is one of the more time-consuming mods, yet I and many others have found the investment to be worth it, as the difference is pretty drastic. I recommend you take your time, listen to a good podcast or audiobook, and enjoy the process. For this mod, you'll need your chalk switches, some tweezers, tape obviously, this can be packaging tape or scotch tape, as long as it's thin and is sufficiently sticky. You'll also need a knife or X-Acto knife to cut the tape precisely, and a cutting surface for doing this. Optionally, you need lubing equipment. Lubing the switches isn't necessary, but I highly recommend it. It further improves sound and is worth it if you're already spending the time opening up each switch. Let's get into how to do the mod. Cut your tape into thin strips. Make these as thin as possible, about 1 to 2 millimeters with a length of about 3 centimeters. We need some excess to be able to handle it, that will be cut off later. I recommend cutting up a bunch of strips at once. Open your switch with the tweezers. You need to slide the tweezers underneath the legs of the top housing, like this, to release it from the bottom housing. Repeat this on both sides and the switch will come apart. Attach tape to each side of the top housing. Make sure the excess points down and outwards to prevent it from coming apart later. Next we can lube the switch. If you're not doing this, skip to the timestamp on screen. We'll apply lube around the bottom housing, everywhere where the spring touches. Then we can lube the spring. You should use thinner lube or oil on light springs like these perp switches I'm using. I bag lube my springs as that gives it a more even coating and saves a lot of time. Finally, lube the stem on the bottom where the spring touches it and the sides that slide against the housing. As always, less is more. If you apply the lube too thickly, the switch will feel gunky and sticky, especially on lighter weighted switches. Now we can reassemble the switch. Cut off the excess tape so that there is only a bit still sticking out, and then you're done. I won't be doing a full typing test comparison since I only have one set of switches, which I've already lubed and tape modded. I will compare single switches next to each other and then do a typing test of a full board of tape modded and lubed switches.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.